Euler bricks in 100 seconds. This is a simple unsolved math problem. Does a perfect Euler brick exist? A brick looks like this, and it's an Euler brick if every edge has a whole numbered length and every face diagonal also has a whole numbered length. This is not an Euler brick because this face diagonal is about 4.24, which is not a whole number. So if you were gonna make an Euler brick, you probably wanna start with a Pythagorean triple like three, four, five, and turn that into some kind of rectangle, which looks like this, and then start gluing rectangles like that together. And uh, in this case, so far so good, but we're missing two faces on the edges. And if we put those two faces in, then we'll find out that we made a mistake. So you might try a different Pythagorean triple, like 5, 12, 13, but if you keep goofing around with this and applying more faces and diagonals, you'll find out that you can't make an Euler brick. Now, so people kept looking and in the year 1719, someone did discover an Euler brick. Uh, and uh, for scale, here's the size of the smallest Euler brick. And since then, people have discovered other Euler bricks. So here are the five smallest ones. If you order an Euler brick from Amazon.com, it'll come in a package like this. So what's the simple unsolved math problem? It's does a perfect Euler brick exist? And that's one where not only the edges and face diagonals are integer length, but also the big diagonal that runs through the cube. It has a whole number length. And nobody knows if this kind of... Uh, cube exists and mathematicians can tell you some things like exactly one edge is odd at least one edge is divisible by 11 the odd edge length is huge billions and billions and the big diagonal is not the product of two primes um, one more question what are the industrial uses of in Euler bricks that's funny not, not exist right now but maybe an engineer from 50 years from now will need an Euler brick and she'll order some from amazon.com